think now I think we are heading to the realm of the living. Oh, the living to the of realm Robert of the live stream. And oh, well, let me we're tell you. live. We're live. Hello. Well, hello. we may be live, but I have not been alive in years. Oh. Living is so overrated. It really is. Yes, I know. I know. I'm sharing it to our naughty and nice page, and I'm sharing, I'm going to share it to your page, right? Well, now. tell me why you're being such a helpful girlfriend and co-host. It's yes, your old broomstick riding, blood swilling auntie yes. is going to fix us up a few cocktails. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, Chris Boyer said hi, Hooker. <laughs> Chris, you call me by my first name and we haven't met socially yet. <laughs> we love Chris Boyer. We Chris, love thank Chris you Boyer. For tuning in, sweetie. Thank you, Chris. And, and oh, Josie. Josie is watching. Hi, Josie. Josie, who? Josie from the, the former Miss Long Island. You know, Josie Meow. Oh, Josie Meow. Hey, Josie girl. Meow. Hey. Yes. Yes. Oh, Pansy. Hi, Pansy. Your Majesty. Hello, 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 everyone. Stuart Manis. Hello, 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 everyone who's watching. So, uh, Alexis, um, I don't know what to do. I, I, I have no alcohol in the house. I, I mean... Girl, hold on. Can you help Remember, me? I'm not just a vampire. I'm a witch. I know. That's why I'm wondering if you could help me. Oh, I can just give me a minute to uh oh good talk to my brew. Oh good. Dark lady played black magic. <laughs> you know. Triple sack. Hmm. Tequila, but oh, the way I think tequila. of our it's more like to kill ya. <laughs> oh dear. And we, I don't use the sweetened stuff. Uh huh. So here we have real lime juice. We're just going to squirt a little bit of that in the mm. shaker. How do you like mm. that, boys? Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Now, before we get to that, oh, that looks so I'm going good. to put a different twist on this. Oh, yes. Literally a twist. Oh, a twist. Because instead of lemon or lime, uh -huh. I'm, going to, I'm going to ring the glass in orange. Oh, an orange. Mm. Now you like your margarita with salt, right, Tony? Oh yes, I love salt around the, love salt around the rim. I prefer a man that showers before getting into it. <laughs> shake, 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 okay. shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty. Oh, wait, I didn't set up my blender. Oh, no. As I recall, you like frozen drinks. Yes, I, I love the frozen margarita. That's my favorite. Well, it's lucky for you that the uh -huh. old witch has her wand. Uh-huh. One, two, Oh, three. I can't wait. I can't Get wait. Get your glass, Tony. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, frozen with the salt. Oh, and you even gave me a straw. Mm. Now you mm. have to wait for me to catch up, sweetie. Mm. I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh, look at you. It's very good. Greedy Gertie. Mm -hmm. mm, so good. Mm. Thank you. And I dropped an ice cube. It's only water. It's only water. That's okay. I'm cleaning the rugs this weekend anyway. As you know, certain measures must be taken when you're a fur parent. Mm -hmm. Tony, 
Cheers yes. to our third episode. Cheers! Clink! Clink! Mmm. <laughs> oh, that is tasty. This is the best drink we've made so far. <laughs> Who's we? You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, Tony and I have yet to confer. Oh, look at this. My hair acts like a slinky. <laughs> Don't you just love slinkies? Some people are like slinkies, totally worthless, but they do bring a smile to your face when you push them down the stairs. Slinky, it's slinky, for fun, it's a wonderful toy. Oh, well, honey, come on, you're the singer. It goes downstairs, a loner in pairs, and makes a slinky sound. sound. The spring of spring, a marvelous thing. Everyone, Everyone knows it's, it's slinky. slinky. And the then bell again. is watching. Oh, Crystal Carter, hello, hello. Crystal, hello, ladies. But Crystal, again, says, Tony, you also Crystal says we both look fabulous. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> but then again, Tony, you also know some people are like devil days. They give you gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not mentioning true. any names this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in for the next episode if you want the names. <laughs> What sweet oh, oh, Rob Spanier is watching. Hi, Rob. Kara Daniels. Hi, Rob. Hello, 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 everyone. Thanks for joining us here on Tell Them the Name of the Show. Or nice. Nice. And once again, I'm the naughty Alexis Flame. And I'm the nice Tony Homeperm. <laughs> and if you speak fluent gay, there's nothing nice about being nice. <laughs> yeah, take a sip, girl. So now, before we bring on our next guest, because we did start a little bit late, That's because certain ladies are overlapping our broadcast tonight, one of them being Long Island's fabulous mermaid, Bella Noche. We love Bella. Yes. Oh, and by the way, Robert Spanier, <laughs> your wife is overlapping our episode. <laughs> <laughs> but we also really love Madison Mansfield. Yes, we do. Who I am very proud to call Robin Madison, my friends. Mm -hmm. And they're about to get adopted too. Cheers to Robert and Madison. And actually- here, here. I'm doing a show with Robert oh, and Madison and tomorrow. Also, and also, here's to Paul and Bella, because their little episode where they switched roles, that was just everything. Yes. Oh, and a shout out, Tony, as we're both uh, court members, a shout out, I don't have the trophy where I can reach it, but oh, you a got shout something out today, to right? Dowager Emperor, Mm -hmm. Michael Perez, who sent me these lovely baked goods. Oh, the, my trophy just appeared within reach. Oh, very nice. I was a recipient of becoming one of the Emperor's Dragons. That's from our Dowager Empress, uh, Emperor, I'm sorry, Antonio Ventura. Nice. Handsome young man. <laughs> And let me tell you, he can bake a mean cookie. Yes, it looks like In the can. box that arrived, there were peanut butter cookies. Mm. I took a whiff. The next thing I knew, they were gone. Oh. As if by magic. I don't know how it happened. Huh. Any, any idea where they went? None. Hmm. Mario, I know you ate my cookies. That sounds so dirty when I say yes. it. You might want to check your thighs. <laughs> but yes. darling, we'll <laughs> always be for some buddies, my crony, my mate. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Where is Tom Cat when you need her? So, 
do we have our gorgeous guest star in the in the green room yet? Let me um message her. And oh, her to log on. Messaging our very special guest. Would you like to tell everyone a little bit about our special guest? She's a floozy. No, actually. <laughs> oh, well, then we, we know oh, we'll like her. That's me. <laughs> our special guest is this amazing performer mm -hmm. who I actually became Facebook friends with prior to meeting her. But uh, we all know the legendary Stonewall Inn. Uh, so at Stonewall Inn, prior to this whole COVID drama, of which I no longer have any use for the number 19, <laughs> uh, I became, I was asked to partake in this event called Polish the Queen, Okay, where they asked well-known established performers, hell, I'm not established, I'm an archeology span project. <laughs> uh, but it, it's, a, it's a competition for upcoming performers. Mm -hmm. And um, I was asked to be a judge at which, and you know me, Tony, you know how I love to meet my Facebook friends finally. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet because the uh, the event is produced by DJ Tra Chauncey Dandridge. We love Chauncey. Mm -hmm. Also a member or a friend of the court. He's gone back and forth. And the ever handsome Phil Chanel. I met these two fabulous young ladies uh, that I became Facebook friends. Well, I was actually friends with them first. One is the incredibly energetic Fifi Dubois, who I will have to contact to be a future guest. And our guest tonight is a luscious Latina bombshell. Oh. She is amazing. Her name is Christy Blades. As a boy, mm -hmm. she's hotter than pepper pudding. Oh. <laughs> However, the way the ground moves when she performs on stage as Christy Blaze, mm -hmm. the Richter scale doesn't even go that high. Oh, nice. She's a force of nature. She really is. <laughs> and she's a total sweetie. Mm. Well, if she has I the Alexis Flame her. seal of approval, we know, she's, we know she's good. Oh, no, no, no. She's very respectful of the older, of the older ladies. Mm -hmm. When I say all the ladies, I simply mean myself. <laughs> oh, I'm being I asked what I'm drinking. It's a frozen margarita prepared by Alexis Flame and transported yeah, uh, across the, the, the ice zoo. actually came from my crypt in the polar ice caps. <laughs> is our is our girl in the in the green room yet? Not yet. <laughs> Maybe she wants you to keep talking, keep praising Paging her. Paging Christy Blaze. Ah, uh, Paging Christy Blaze. Oh, well, back to Michael Perez. Oh, I showed the trophy. You showed the trophy. Oh, Lester is okay, watching. Okay, well, we'll just say Michael Perez is handsome as hell. That's true. Lester, oh! Kevin G. Wisher is here. Weedy, we love <laughs> Kevin. Hi, <laughs> Kevin. What's your psychotic little heart? <laughs> oh, by the way, Edwina, you simply must come over on Monday. I'm getting a I'm getting a new side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. I help I need you to help me repackage the leftovers. <laughs> Bring a shovel and the lime, girl. That's right. Oh, Frank Anthony is watching. One of one of your other children, Baron Guido Bear, one of my <laughs> many sexy sons. Yes, and Lester Blum is one of my sexy sons. We know he's watching. My goodness, yes, Lester is watching too. 
I have so many oh. sons. I have okay, I think Christy is here. We're going to bring her in right oh, now. Oh, that sexy, skinny bitch. Here we go. Here we go. Joining, joining, join, joining, joining, joining. And here oh, she is. Look how young and beautiful she is. I think oh. Hi, Christy. We, she's you young the... and beautiful. We yes. hate her. No. <laughs> we hate her. <laughs> she's too young and beautiful. Christy, Christy, sweetheart, thank you for joining us. How dare you bring Christy somebody more young and beautiful than us on our show? What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's so see, it's all Alexis Tony, and all Tony, <laughs> Tony, Christy doesn't realize that this is a trap. After the show, we're going to jump her and absorb her youth and beauty. <laughs> yes. Well, you need to absorb more than me. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to hand you another margarita. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cocktail right now. Drink up, girl. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I'm in quarantine. Fast in your seatbelts. It's going to be a... Bumpy ride. Speaking of um, bumps. Oh, what kind of bump? <laughs> my bumps, my bumps, my lovely lady lumps. <laughs> oh, yes. Christy, you're, there you Christy go. you're getting a shout out from uh, Heck Quinones. Oh, hey, oh he stayed awake. Hey, oh, Heck. Keep awake, keep awake. I saw the feed. He loves you. Oh, love and uh, Mark Costanzo. <laughs> Your He's Majesty, watching. Hi, Mark. thank you for tuning in, Mark. Yeah. And for Fantasia. He Heck says that he needs a, a cocktail, too. And he says, oh, grrr. I can't do that. I can't do that Cardi oh, B thing. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. Oh, grrr. can't do it. I can't well, do it. Well, as, as I was saying about Christy Blaze. Yes. What were you saying? Beyond being a young, skinny bitch. I am not that young. I'm right behind you. I'm trailing you. Bitch, I'll, you know what? <laughs> We're not going to talk about my age. We'll just say that I hope the yeah, Lord. We don't, we don't have that, you know, we don't have weeks to do this show, Christy. <laughs> we'll just say that I, we'll just say that I catered the Last Supper and provided the hookers for the after party. There you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, there by the way, go. Christy, yeah. I'm going to need your help getting uh, Phil Chanel's handsome ass as a future guest star. You know he's afraid of a camera. He, he doesn't like to As many selfies as he posts. Do you see how they are with his eyes half closed? He's like... <laughs> have you seen his TikTok? Yeah, he gave me that same line of crap. Oh, I'm camera shy. Really, the selfie king is camera shy. Okay, the selfie king, because he does love his selfie. Hey. Everyone's camera shy until they're making amateur porn, though, it seems. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. A, that's Everybody's thing. camera shy, but they all have only fans pages. <laughs> they love having those in their, like, in the buttholes. They love that, that, that view. That view is real good. I'd be like this. Now, everybody watching... <laughs> <laughs> if you think this crazy queen at the bottom of the screen is that me? Is beautiful now, and she is. You should see her out of drag. Ooh. If I had ever caught her out of drag, she would not still be alive to do this broadcast. <laughs> run, girl, run! I'm, I'm run, Christy, run! I'd be I'm like, all right, Poppy, I make a special flan for you. <laughs> Well, it's like Lana. one of those old Pam Greer movies, Alexis. Get Christy, get Christy Blaze. Oh, honey, I would make a special pernil for that one. <laughs> I can't. That is alert. That is alert. <laughs> oh. oh, you can't smoke in your room. Oh, who's smoking? All righty then. So, Christy, as I was telling Tony, we, we've been Facebook friends for a while. Yes, we have. But and when I, I finally met Christy, and she was incredibly happy to finally meet me, I have no idea why. Because <laughs> I must have lied to her. 
<laughs> but uh, but let me tell you, you got to see this bitch on stage. The <laughs> stage of Stonewall, because they separate the tables and make an aisle during the show, Polish the Queen. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Polish the this Queen. Bitch, no, no, this bitch <laughs> leapt off the stage huh? and landed in a split right in the middle of the floor. My no no parts were just like, uh uh. Oh. This bitch, this bitch did the ultimate cooter slam. Okay. All right. I don't know if I could do that now after I've been like not exercising. I've been eating so oh, much. Oh, but no, but honey, I was in just watching her. I was in mourning for my no no part. Girl, it's, it's like <laughs> bottoming, you know, and like riding a bicycle. I'm a top, so you got I got right back go. on it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you. If I tried to do what she did, I'd have gotten some hellacious saddle sores. <laughs> I love you, Alexis. So, Christy, honey, tell us more. Because, uh, like I said, Christy and the fabulous Fifi Dubois are among the hosts of, uh, and I hope it comes back after this whole. Yes. Well, we're doing live, um, live TikToks and Instagram video, um, you know, challenges that we have the queens do you, doing. While we're do you have food. access to Stonewall to do these challenges? Uh, yeah, duh. We work there. You do. <laughs> well, you, oh, this is in, gonna be great. Phil, Phil is in charge of all of that, and then we're gonna do our first live show, um, for Polish the Queen with all the queens that have won during the TikTok challenges and everything. Oh, yeah, and that bitch Fifi Dubois that you work with, another yeah. incredible dancer. <laughs> yeah, um, because me again? having taught ballroom for many years, uh, <laughs> both Christy and Fifi are amazing dancers. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I saw this, I saw Christy fly off the stage and land in a split. <laughs> and I was like, no, Miss Thing, there is no guest list tonight. Uh, that is some good, um, you know, alcohol beverages there, you know. That is that's all of that. Paolo. That's oh, yeah. Paolo. That's Paolo. That's Paolo. We love Paolo. We love Paolo. Uh, I don't, I don't know Paolo, but I'll drink to Paolo. <laughs> oh, honey, if you met Paolo, you do more than drink to him, married <laughs> lady or not. As Alexis Flair, I was married. I was married. She's a married woman. She's a married, married. woman. I'm a married lady. <laughs> married, I'll ma acknowledge, lady. <laughs> oh, we almost lost. Girl, Christy. where did you go, Christy? Where did you go, girl? I'm here. Oh, it went black for a second. Oh. I'm trying. I'm trying to zoom out. It's my first time doing the zoom. So. Oh, oh, she's a zoom, a zoom virgin. Oh, I'm a zoom know. Christy. What yes. do you think of my hair? I love it. I was trying to do the you, same thing. You might get it in my will. <laughs> uh, don't forget the don't forget the items that I put in for. And don't don't listen to Sissy Walking. I get first dibs over Sissy Walking. Don't forget. Well, Tony, you're a niece. Sissy's a daughter. Uh, so, so yeah, but I can her. I can mute you right now. <laughs> I control the Zoom. And I have access and I have access to a motor vehicle and I know where you live. <laughs> and your wig is right downstairs for me right now. I'm on my way to pick it up. How far do you live from there? She lives in uh, Long Island. I live well. Geographically, we both live on Long Island, but she lives in the ass crack of Suffolk <laughs> County. And I'm I the suburbs, in girl. I'm just, I'm just a middle, a middle class white lady. She's housewife. a Oh, come on, look at her hair and makeup. She's a Stepford wife. <laughs> <laughs> it was the blue eyeshadow gave it away. The blue eyeshadow gave it away. Girl, I'm, I'm, a, I'm about to call. I'm about to call 911 on something. Yes, hello? Hello, police? Yes, there are people outside. You need to come here. Why? Because I'm a white lady. 
That's why you need you need to come here because I'm a white lady. So you're gonna you take a lady bunny, honey. <laughs> right? Actually, this particular wig is one of the few that Tony Hompong's husband did not do for did me. Did not do. <laughs> like I said, one of the few. few. This was done by Andre Hopper, also known as Tula from Maryland. Oh. Tula is also responsible for my signature Elizabeth Taylor wig, mm -hmm. which yeah. I've had uh, Frank Bakari, the wig wizard, restyle for me many times because he lives much closer to me than Tula does. <laughs> True. But no. <laughs> but uh, I would dare say, I mean, I still do a couple of my own wigs, but I would have to say 90% of the wigs that you see me wearing these days are done by Frank Bakari, the wig wizard. But also I known as Frank Holmfarm. <laughs> my husband. <laughs> He's so amazing. Husband, so your husband's the one that does all her hair. Besides the one and that she mine. <laughs> Oh, I need, I need to give you my number. Oh, yes. Tony Holmfarm's husband. <laughs> Tony Holmfarm's husband, Frank Bakari, who I personally named the wig wizard, actually mm. does the wigs for a lot, I would say the lion's share of Long Island's leading ladies. True. Like I said, I wore this wig tonight because it's sculpted. I just had to redo my color scheme to complement the hair. And it's funny though, because I, I actually like this color on me. It looks good. When I purchased the hair, when I purchased the hair, Tula told me, because she's done a couple of wigs for me. She said, I wasn't sure about the color on you, but I wore this wig for Drag Go Go last year, which is a breast cancer event. And the queen and the mob wife, Queen of the Vampires, appeared in pink from head to toe, including <laughs> her hair. Scandalous. And then Tula realized. It was a scandal. <laughs> yes, there isn't a hair color that I cannot rock. Now, styles are a different story. Right, I have right. to do big hair. My hair has to be as wide as my behind. <laughs> and if you haven't noticed, I got a pretty big ass. <laughs> I think that up close. I thought I would say it before either of you girls did. <laughs> yeah, Tony. But, sweetie. Me? Yes, me? Now, Christy, me? Mm -hmm. me? like I said, I met Christy in person mm -hmm. when I was asked to be a guest judge on Polish the Queen. Now, Christy, tell us more about your, your fabulous self. Yes. Well, I started out- You're disgustingly um... beautiful in and out of drag. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to get me hard. <laughs> <laughs> Disgustingly, Lily, li, li, beautiful, full, full. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> well, I started in college. Oh, look, the top the of her Jersey. head is now out of the shot. <laughs> is it still like there? the rest of us, she's sitting on her wiener. <laughs> uh, I am. I am. <laughs> I put it back for today. <laughs> That is one of the unfortunate things about doing drag now, isn't it? <laughs> Christy's like, when I see this old lady in person, I'm going to beat the Geritol out her ass. No, I'm going to hug you so much because I haven't seen you in so long. I've missed you. I Honey, miss I miss you moments. too when I have jewelry for you. I miss our crazy moments when I see you at Stoma. I always went to hug you and like, you know, we get drunk together. Yeah. It, it, feels like, it feels like it's been like... There was an exaggerated now. story about my drinking at Stonewall. <laughs> because I don't drink during an event. I drink after the event. <laughs> I'm, wrong with that. That. I'm not even bringing that day up. <laughs> but Christy, tell us, tell us what's going on. You said uh, you're going to be doing uh, Polish the Queen, some like virtual events. Yes, we, we, do, um, we do a virtual event each and every week. So 
So we have um the um the girls like sign up with Phil Chanel, and mm -hmm. they um you know we have different challenges for them each and every week. They have to do a video with the um it has to do with the challenge, and then we pick a winner between the judges and um the people that work at Stonewall um for Polish the Queen. And then nice. we're gonna do like um which um how, how many now Christy. Yeah. No, I interrupted you. Please continue. I'll ask my question in a minute. I'm sorry. Okay, so so yeah, so then um all the girls that have win in the finale, we're gonna do a whole live Polish the Queen show. So they're all gonna be a part of the Stonewall um, you know, um for Polish the Queen. Nice. And then I'm also gonna start doing um stuff with um Posh, because I also work at Posh on Wednesday night. Oh, okay. And we can celebrate our two year anniversary because of um, you know, the whole quarantine. Mm -hmm. And everything that's happened with the corona, unfortunately, we couldn't celebrate. And it was going to be the 20-year anniversary for Posh, too, as well. Oh, there you go. Oh, my. Nice. All right, now, Christy, now this is what I want to ask, because you and I finally met face-to-face, -face mm -hmm. because I got to be on more than one occasion. Yes. I got to be a guest judge on Polish the Queen. Now, because this is actually not a live event uh, at the time being, uh, so I'm assuming in lieu of guest judges like myself, that you, Phil, Chauncey, Fifi, and maybe Naomi will be the judges for the time being? For the time, yeah, um, for the time being, we have, yes, and some former winners that have won on um, Part of the Queen, like that are special guests um, gotcha. judges as well for now. Okay. Because like I said, I would love for Fifi to be a, a future guest on Naughty or Nice. Oh, and I, appro and I approached it. Phil. But Phil had the gall to tell me he was camera shy. I'm like, as many selfies as you post with your handsome self, and your camera shot. He's gotten better now because now he does TikTok. So <laughs> he's gotten better now with the camera. He does TikTok. Thank you. Hey, Phil, if you're watching, <laughs> Christy threw you all the I'm way under, under the, the bus. bus. Under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> look for viewers, look for the ever handsome Phil Chanel as a guest in August. You you will you will. Or I'll get your address out of Christy Phil, <laughs> and she'll get it. She will get it. I got I got them to stretch. I have the designer dresses that are too small for me, and a ton <laughs> of stage jewels. She will rat you out, Phil. She, no, she won't wouldn't. play fair. She won't play fair. <laughs> ne I never play fair. I play no. the way. <laughs> I will bribe her with fabulous drag. Mm -hmm. And you'll belong to she me. She will. <laughs> no, but talking about fabulous drag, Christy's another one of these girls who does her own stoning and all that. Huh? She's one of the few ladies that I can't say anything bad about. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And I do mean the few. <laughs> High praise, indeed. I feel so privileged. Oh, my God. Because let me tell you, Christy, like one of the very first oh, shows. Oh, please, look at her now. The way she's hamming it up, I got to make a pineal just for her now. But I no. You. I will go visit you for the pineal. No. When, when I did one of my Girl, very first shows. I make shows, pineal three times a week. Bring your culo to Queens, loca. Oh my God, oh, all the way in, you know I'm a Jersey girl. Oh, you're in Jersey? That, and that's my problem, how? Oh, I used to live in Jersey. Well, party, I'm from Elizabeth, so it's not I that bad. I can tell by going. your hair, Tony. West Orange, I used to live in West Orange. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yes, not, uh -oh. Not, the bo not the bougie part, girl. <laughs> I was down Oh there. no. Tony Homeproud. <laughs> Tony Homeproud. Are you saying that you lived in the ghetto? In the ghetto. <laughs> oh my. Sorry, yes. In the ghetto. <laughs> oh, yes. so Tony, Tony, you weren't on Jersey Shore. 
No, no. We would go down. We would go. We would drive down to Jersey Shore. We would drive down to Jersey Shore, but we didn't live down Jersey Shore. You know, most people don't live down the Jersey Shore because Jersey Shore, it's only during the summer that, you know, there's anything going down. If you go down the Jersey Shore, going like, down the time of year, it's like a ghost town. Out. Yeah, unless, unless you go to paradise, you know, like during the winter season and fall. Paradise right. is um paradise. And so um Georgie's, you know, there's good spots over there, like, but not like during the summertime that it, it's, everything's open in the beach and everything. Right, right. But it's like, beach, it's like wintertime now. We can't even go on mm -hmm. the beach. You know what, Tony? I just realized something. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing that we both opted to dress age appropriately this evening because <laughs> our dear friend Christy is serving enough cleavage for both of us. <laughs> I decided to do a push up today. <laughs> I was like, I'm coming on with you girls. I was no, like, but the best what the best was the best was when I bought a breastplate. I'm six minutes older than dirt. And here I am with these tits like rocks. Okay. <laughs> I would no, because if you, if you know, Chrissy, if you go to the naughty or nice page, stop <laughs> it, Tony. What's going on? I gotta hear this. Tony gotta... Holberg needs sequins of pens right now because she knows where I'm going. Why did you put in this Drake, Alexis? Like, <laughs> Tony will <laughs> edit it. <laughs> Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. And then she's got me at the end of the clip jiggling my jugs going ha 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 <laughs> like it's chill on the page? theater. Okay? It's on the page? I gotta check this it's out. On gotta... the, it's on one of the videos not on the event page for this show tonight uh -huh. but Naughty or Nice has a page that you can go and like and like. You know we have like a fan page Yes. It's under clubs and discos, which I think should be changed, Tony Home Perm. Okay, well, you tell Although me. Although I'm an admin, I have the power to do that, you, too. Yes, you are an admin. I made you an admin, so do, put it wherever you want. You're an administrator uh, as well? The thing is... Yes, she's an administrator. Where did Christy go? Oh. I went to, see, I was going to get my breastplate. I was going to put them on today. <laughs> she no! Been, no! <laughs> No! Stop! Stop! No! Girl, you gotta get our asses in Facebook jail. Get us in Facebook jail! <laughs> it was me getting my surgery. <laughs> yeah. No, when I posted, okay, because I do have two younger biological sisters, not trans sisters. I'm actually talking my late mother's daughters. When I posted the picture of me on Facebook after the first time I wore it, my sister messages me, what the hell did you do to yourself? And who's your doctor? They look great. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, well, bitch, I have my... I'm like, oh my I had God, my tits. is that shade? <laughs> I, had, I told her I had my tits done at AliExpress. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was shade. <laughs> I had my tits done at AliExpress.com. Uh, 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 Who knew? Who knew? Now I'm just waiting for them to have a home liposuction kit. <laughs> Seriously. Otherwise, I'm just going to get two gallons of Jack Daniels, a shop vac, and a turkey baster. <laughs> At an exact time. Uh, uh, You'll see me with the shop back in the box cutter. Don't bother me. Don't, Don't bother, bother me, girl. Me. So, what else is on the horizon for the beautiful Christy Blades? Yes, tell us. Oh, by yeah. the way, Christy, I want to make it official right now. Flame, mm -hmm. Blaze. You are now officially the niece of the legendary Alexis Blaine. I, I thought I was already. <laughs> um, 
but she already was. The war, but now it's official. Oh, oh now it's official. <laughs> now it's official. Well, it's official. Now well, yeah, now now it's official. She has my sense of modesty. Not. <laughs> I can't. Oh, yes, you can. I've heard stories. What website? <laughs> Tony, yeah. when this whole COVID-19 is over, yes, and we could actually book Naughty or Nice in a venue, I think we simply must have Christy Blaze as a guest star. Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. She's fabulous. She really oh, is. And I told you she was disgustingly pretty. I know, it's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> How dare you put somebody so beautiful next to us? <laughs> well, we already had Sissy walking. That's true. I guess, I guess you know, once the, once the genie's sissy. out of the bottle, what can you do? I love my sissy. Everybody loves my daughter. Yes. I remember everybody but me. Started. Where's that wire hanger? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, but Christy, now, like I said, tell us more about yourself. Yes. I'll actually try to stay quiet, but my medic alert bracelet says in case of lockjaw, rush to hospital. Tell us, Christy, tell us more about yourself. How old are you? How old were you? How, when did you start doing drag? Oh, <clears throat> I don't want to say my age. A lady doesn't say her age. <laughs> but I started. Honey, you, I, honey I got wigs older than you. <laughs> you, you would get, um, Alexis, you would gag at That's how long true. It's drag. true. <laughs> I, I, like, if. If yeah, it is true home. because her husband brought two of them back to life. It's true. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to send one of the wigs out for carbon dating, but <laughs> there just wasn't enough time to get to do that and have it ready for her gig. What can I say? Yeah, the, Frank Frank Bakari has a special pump spray bottle for some of my wigs. It says <laughs> embalming fluid. <laughs> No, it's got it's got holy water in it. <laughs> Those are the two wigs I never got back. Oh, <laughs> now say what happened when he sprayed them with holy water. Uh, yes. There was no blessing those wigs. No, let me tell you, two wigs I sent to him, he just couldn't do anything with. Maybe I shouldn't have scrubbed those pots and pans with them. But for the most part, I have seen ladies, including myself, mm -hmm. hands frank wigs that you would think twice about washing your floor with. <laughs> and then he turned them into works of art. Christy, no, no exaggeration. Camera froze, or she's in shock. I don't know. I was sharing the po um the video on um, the Zoom. Oh, okay. You know, I'm still trying to learn this. I'm still trying to learn this. Okay. It's okay. It's cool. It's all good, girl. Girl, oh, that's okay. The first time I did Zoom, uh, I I had to restart my computer for no reason. <laughs> True. That's because I didn't figure out all I had to do was go to my toolbar. Yes. By the way, ladies, you're going to have to excuse me for a moment. Oh. So we can have when you're as old as I am, <laughs> when nature calls, you want to get it on the first ring. You don't want it to go to voicemail. <laughs> However, if my illustrious co-hostess wants to say, Go ahead and say anything you want about her. I actually have a camera trained on this computer, <laughs> Tony Home Farm. Damn. <laughs> damn, damn it, damn it. I thought this was finally and my as chance. As a matter of fact, you know what? I think I'll just go ahead and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Did, 
Tony, did I share No, that's that? not gonna work. Excuse me, ladies. <laughs> Tony, did I share the um the pose? Yes, yeah, share share it, please. Did I share it though? Like I, yes, I thought, share I thought, it. I thought I did. I still gotta learn how to do this. It's fine, girl. It's fine. Don't worry, girl. Nobody nobody's watching this show. Don't worry. <laughs> it's only the three of us, girl. Amazing. Oh, that's not what I see right now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know, girl. I just do that. I'm just doing this because I ain't got nothing else to do on a Thursday night, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, tomorrow is the finale of Drag Race. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who, are, who are you rooting for? You know, I'm, I'm shocked that I'm really like got into Crystal Method. Like, I love Crystal Method. I love her. Like, I love her so much. I, I can't thought, tell you. I, I cannot tell you I love movie. her so much. <laughs> I love her. Love, love, love her. Love her. Hey, Pavel. How are you, Pavel? Hey, Hector. He's back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm seeing, like, I'm, I'm trying to get used to this now. Mm -hmm. But, yes, Crystal Method, like, I thought it would have been I thought it would have been like a GG good type of um like fan, but especially or Jada um Jada Essence Hall. Oh my god. I, she is like she's she like is a, fierce. She is she a fierce. She is queen fierce. Queen. But Crystal Method, like she grew on me throughout the season. Yes. Absolutely. Well I, I, really I love the oddballs, you know, the, the ones that are a little weird. Outside the box, those, you know, those kind of girls, they just, you know, they steal my heart. You know, they really do. You know, um, I learned to appreciate the difference in drag when I started hosting Polish the Queen at Stonewall mm -hmm. because I was a, a one track step a pageant, a dancing queen type of girl. Right. And then I like every girl, everybody, every girl that came up to me, they were like, oh, Chrissy, can you um, teach me how to um, do a pageant this or like a dancing girl? Like, can you um, do choreography? So that was my mentality for a long time. Right. And then when I started doing Polish the Queen, I started getting to know these girls that have different arts of drag. Mm -hmm. And I learned to accept it and embrace it and help telling them to keep going. And that sets them apart from everybody else. Don't be like anybody in that one set box. Yes, and like, you know what? Very true. I might be jumping the gun because I just came in the middle of that conversation. <clears throat> And we'll get back to what you ladies might have said about me for the few moments I was gone. <laughs> because I will be playing the camera that I have trained on the laptop. Damn it. Damn it. Oh yeah, because I didn't just meet Tony Homepon. <laughs> oh, you, you did? Because after our first episode, when I was having, actually it wasn't even our first episode. <laughs> no, it was. I was having difficulties with Zoom. And then when I watched her YouTube channel, okay, now's your chance to say anything you want about her. <laughs> I was like, quick, So quick. I have an actual Canon video camera trained on the laptop. <laughs> now, I heard you ladies saying you love somebody. Uh, yes, we love Crystal Method from Drag Race and tomorrow's the finale. Oh, she's amazing, actually. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking, when you said I love her, I love her, I thought you were talking about me because I'm like, you so full of shit, you stay. <laughs> no, but Crystal Method is everything. Yes. Yes. She grew, she grew no, so much but on as me. Far as, but if I heard correctly when I sat back down, Christy, as far as saying, you know, be who you are, Mm -hmm. Look at yourself, look at me, look at Tony. And we all have our own identities. Yes, we do. Okay, I don't look like anyone else unless I'm impersonating a celebrity. Okay. I'm Alexis Flay. I am so tired and I have, I'm actually friends with Bianca Del Rio, we love her. Yes, we love Bianca. Like you see, so many of these younger queens oh, God. that look like the love child of Bianca Del Rio and Alyssa Edwards. Yes. I'm like, why don't you get your own identity? That that's a lot of 
things going on. And like, I think Alyssa Edwards is amazing too. But let Alyssa Edwards be Alyssa Edwards. Find your own identity, ladies. Yes, find your own. There's only the one Alyssa Edwards. Else. There's only one Bianca Del Rio. Only one Christy, one Lex, one Tony. One Tony. Stop. I mean, if you could borrow a little something from other ladies and blend it in with yourself, you know, exactly. to choose yourself, that I understand and respect. Hell, I did it too. But <laughs> then I found my own. But if you're just out there ripping off looks and it's so obvious that Stevie Wonder can see it, that's a problem. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I'm not going to mention any names for two reasons. <laughs> Number one, I don't want to get us in Facebook, in Facebook jail. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> no, <laughs> Number two, I don't want to see a parade of drag queens storming my apartment building with pitchforks and torches saying, Burn the witch! Burn, burn her! She's on flames. She's on flames. flames no, but don't flames. you love my hair? It's a cross between Hunger Games and Dr. Seuss. <laughs> but, but Christy, what is your what is your opinion on that? Because you know, doing Polish the Queen, which is a competition, you must see a lot of you know new queens that are you know starting out, and they're very derivative of all these other girls and really don't have like, haven't found their unique flavor yet. Well, so what is your opinion on that? See me, um, when we started the whole thing of Potters the Queen, um, Phil told me to, to guide the girls in the back to like, you know, to see if they need help with anything. And I would like sometimes take off like any um, piece of clothing that I had. And if I saw that they needed it, I would take it off and be like, here girl, or if they need a hairspray, deodorant, um, you know, like hair, like anything. Now, Christy would... really is sweet, but when Christy really asks the girls backstage if they need help, you need help packing? No, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I can't. <laughs> no, but let girl, me let tell me, you. Let me no, get, but let Tony, me get, let me let tell me you because she has to get the pleasure. <laughs> I have seen this bitch on stage. She is a hard act to follow. I, I, <laughs> Here I, I am, I Alexis it. Flame, the alleged legend. <laughs> what are you going to put me on? Put my old fat ass on first, because I don't want to follow this bitch. I hear that. Honey, uh, you, at you Stonewall, my... if I tried to jump off the stage and land in a split, not only would my old fat ass crack in half, but I'd be <laughs> at the bar downstairs. That's right. Christy. Oh my God, Hector, Hector said, he said, oh yes, I know this. Don't ever go after Christy. Because there was one time we did a performance. She is a very hard act to follow. I know, I know. You want to talk energy? <laughs> you want to talk bringing the look and bringing the noise? And also what I love about her, because she's younger than a lot of us, but the bitch actually knows her words. Mm -hmm. Because I clocked a couple... <laughs> I clocked a couple of girls, and she lives for me, because I clocked a couple of girls during Polish yes, the Queen. Did. I'm, I'm, like, the I'm like, excuse me. I'm like, excuse me, but mm -hmm. pineapple, pineapple, watermelon, motherfucker, pineapple, that, that doesn't count. work for me. You've no. been clocked. No, know your words. That's Drag Queen 101, right, Christy? I mean, most important thing for Drag Queen, know her lip sync. Especially now that we're doing everything viral um, on, like, you know, in the internet and everything, that is a key, a, like, accessory to, like, to know, like, to lip sync. Because right. you don't want to be going out and be like, oh, girl, I could see <laughs> you put, it right there. You put the micro, you put the, you have a fake microphone, you put it here, girl. Okay. <laughs> That is a yeah, that is yeah. Here's the new use for fans because you don't know your words. There you go. There you go. No, no, no you're not. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> or, or no, now it's you put the iPad up. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's just wrong, Tony. <laughs> you're going straight to hell, Tony Home Farm. 
I'll, I'll see you there, right? <laughs> uh, that's okay. I've already got the crew painting the sign for your oh, reserve God. parking space. Oh, good. <laughs> no, but no, Tony, oh. that was just wrong. But you know what? Any drag queen starting right now in the midst of all this social distancing, your drag name should be Auntie Bodies. <laughs> what is it? I didn't hear you. Auntie Bodies. Auntie Body. Bodies. Christy, I have, I have to ask you, have you ever met uh, Ruby Monroe, a very good friend of mine, also a, 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 a an amazing dancer? Actually, Ru, actually. Yes, yeah, she's came to Tony, I'm glad you mentioned Ruby Monroe. Mm -hmm. Christy, okay. do you as of yet have any drag daughters? Huh? Do you as of yet have any drag daughters? Yes, I have. Oh. Ruby like, Monroe most would be a perfect drag daughter for you. Really? Oh I, my God, hell I, yes. I love her. I've seen her at Polish the Queen. Oh, she's set, Ruby amazing, Monroe also is another everything. amazing you dancer. Should take, you should take her under your wing directly because Ruby Monroe is going places. The ones that I took under my wing right now is Coconut Water and um, Olympia. Oh, so she's got to. She's got to. I, girl, I don't have any drag daughters. Do she's you my, know my how drag many eggs are all dried up, girl? But you know, um, like it, to me, like uh, my older kids is because I took them in because we bonded outside of the club scene, outside of the whole drag scene, and we were a family before we, we became like you know into the nightlife. No, I understand that. that. And but I come Ruby from the scene as well, so. Ruby Monroe, I've only worked with her a couple of times, but she's amazing. Another she performer. Really I amazing. will not go on after. I'm like, I'm like, I will not go on after her. <laughs> oh, if they put me on the same card with Christy, I'd be like, I don't give a shit how old my name is. I'm not going on after her. No, no, girl. No. She could go on after me. That's right. Because I cannot me. fly through the air and land in a cooler slam. Uh, I uh, mean, seriously. I'm going to have to do a lot of stretching after this to do one of those again. What? what oh, is honey, it? there's no more stretching for me. My elastic is dry rot. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I'm not going to tell tales. I'll be grandiose. You I, know what? Is Alexis Flame a legend? As a matter of fact, she is. And I've said this more than once. Now, if you speak fluent gay, which I do, I'm going to tell you what legend really means. Legend means has been that still gets gay. That Better part. has been than it never was. That part. And there you have it. That Better part. has been than it never was. But the thing is, for my age, I can't do what I used to do. But when I get on that stage, you are entertained. You still, you always turn it out. Yeah, and you does. know what I lived for? She does. Because the first time that I did polish the queen, and she's one of the hosts of the show. This bitch came out of the dressing room and came out to watch the show in Tiffany. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. Christy <laughs> Blaze is not only an amazing performer, but she's also a professional. Mm -hmm. She knew an old name was part of the show. She made it a point to represent and show respect and I'll always be grateful for that, Christy. Thank you. Well, Christy and I would not be doing this if it wasn't for you. Thank you, lady. Thank and it was nice be, to meet you, Tony. We wouldn't be doing this if oh, it wasn't all right, for stop. you. Stop. Don't make the graffiti run. I got more graffiti on this space than any subway car you've ever ridden in. Are you wearing your waterproof eyeliner? Make sure that, water, that actually, eyeliner is waterproof. Actually, yes, I am. Okay. This very fabulous marker 
by Chaotic Cosmetics, my friend owned S&J, by yes. your sister and my niece, the one and only, the also disgustingly young and pretty, Ashley so J. Ashley. She's so Sh- Shout out to Chaotic Cosmetics, yes. bitches. Hey, Octavia. Hi. Uh, oh, the girls well, are coming in. <laughs> Alexis, I, I think it's time for our uh, Ask Alexis portion of the show. And uh, maybe Christy would like to... Uh, weigh in on you know giving some advice too but i I got a very very interesting question for you and i i think i smell a setup no no it's it's not it's not it's not not. you know and you know Uh, all right tony but because obviously because the readers don't the, the viewers don't contact me directly they contact tony so tony i'm gonna ask you this Look at her being so nice. It's a setup. There's something behind that wig. <laughs> nothing, but, nothing behind here but the air. Oh, please. If she goes out on a date and a man tries to run their fingers through her hair, if they can even get past all the spray, Frank rigs all her wigs with mouse traps. <laughs> <laughs> My husband is very, my husband is very jealous, and he has very sharp scissors. <laughs> oh my! I have very sharp teeth. I got a brush. Girl, that ain't gonna do nothing. Girl, that ain't gonna do nothing, girl. I got spray. Christy, that might work. Christy, I got a lighter. Mm-hmm. Christy, yeah. Remember when I officially adopted you as a niece publicly a few minutes ago? Yeah, I lied. <laughs> I'm joking. I need this written down after this show, okay? I need this on paper or on like a text. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is done through the internet now. Okay, okay Christy. Inbox me your phone number and I will text you that from this moment on, Christy Blaze is officially a niece of Alexis Plain. Official. $29.95. Official. <laughs> she'll, she'll send you the invoice where you can where you can <laughs> where you can PayPal her. Oh, and by the way, Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. <laughs> Tony will edit it. Uh, 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 uh. We're going to have to sell t shirts. Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. Tony will we'll edit that. Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. No, like but that. anyone watching, Christy Blaze, from this moment and until the end of eternity, is now officially, non negotiably, and, irrevoc- and irrevocably. The I niece can, can. of the of Alexis Flay. So let it be written. So let it be done. So let it be done. <laughs> Gong. <laughs> Thank you, Ramesses. <laughs> oh, isn't that a brand of condom, Tony? <laughs> and with my last breath, I shall speak his name, Moses. Moses. <laughs> that is Miss Ann Baxter, and those are the moves. Moses. No, Moses. Moses. <laughs> the only blonde in Egypt. How the hell did that Thank happen? You. The only <laughs> strawberry blonde in fucking Egypt. In Egypt. How the fuck did that happen? How did that happen? All right. Are you ready for Ask she was Alexis? A henna Are you ready for like Ask Lucille Alexis? Ball. She was a henna rinse. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so Tony, do I need a drink, a cigarette, or both before I hear this question? Well, I mean, you should have you should have them all regardless. You should have them all regardless. But I think I, lo- I think you'll I, I think you'll like this question. Being, you know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. 
Oh. Hold, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Alexis Flame. Hold up. Lost she ain't never. Freaking lighter. She ain't never had a sugar daddy. If she wanted a sugar daddy, she could get a sugar daddy. <laughs> How the hell do you think I have a drawer full of diamonds and a closet full of fur? Oh, she did get a sugar daddy. <laughs> she does oh, have she a sugar is. daddy. She does. Do you want to know how many I've had over the centuries? Over the centuries? She had a sugar daddy before they even knew how to process the sugar. <laughs> it was Moses. Moses was the first one. I mean, Count Dracula and Satan himself both <laughs> owe me alimony. I go around telling people, oh, you have no idea I got hell in a divorce settlement once. Yeah, I own it now. She owns it. She owns everything. <laughs> she owns hell. I got a condo down there, girl. I got, I got it. Get, she gave me a good price. She gave what me a good price on a like? condo. Do you want to know how my life plays out? I'm going to tell you, girls. I yeah. divorce better than I marry. That's good advice. Divorce better than you marry. Good that advice. Very, very good advice. Words to live that by. Is very true. <laughs> Can I read this? Ask but Alexis here's the trick. now. You got to get them to leave you. Get them to leave you. <laughs> I've made an art out of that. Because if you leave them, you gotta give back the goodies. Oh no, no, no. And let me tell you something. Oh, I've hated me some men. <laughs> I've hated a lot of men. You hated a but lot I've of men. I've never once hated a man enough to give him back his fucking jewelry. No, never, <laughs> never. Never. Ooh. In the divorce, he gets the kids. I get to keep the jewels. <laughs> and the real estate. Fair and trade. the car. And the money. Fair trade. Are you ready? Are you ready? I was I was born ready. She was born ready. Born ready. Straight dear, out of the volcano. Dear Alexis. I had a threesome with my boyfriend and another man. It was pretty amazing for me, but I can't deny that I felt and sought intimacy with the new guy. I'd like to do it again, some configuration, but am concerned that it will fuel more intimacy between me and the third and cause a rift between us as a couple. I was never good at non-intimate sex. My boyfriend was jealous of this connection and insists if we do it again, it would have to be after we try it with another man. Getting another man into bed with us is less fun for me because he'd have to be the one seducing him for it to work and that might make me feel jealous. Complicated, I know, but hot yes. is hot. And we do enjoy the exploration as a couple. How do you separate straightforward sex into emotions signed third party very simple you combine shopping with travel go out and buy a slip and slide and then take it to park and ride <laughs> next no well, way, I want to know what Christy thinks. You lost me at threesome. I lost you at threesome? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Christy just wants to know how much she's getting paid for the gig. <laughs> she's definitely my niece. <laughs> she a hoe. Uh, next question, please. <laughs> No, what's your opinion? What's your opinion, girl? What was the question? 
this this guy had they had a th- this couple had a threesome. You made me break my fucking fan. Uh huh. Is she still a niece? Is she still a drag niece, or is she out of the will? No. Can I get you made me break my. Can I get whatever she was gonna get in the will now? Tony, you made me break my fan. Oh, you, me. Tony. It was you, Tony. Me? Not me. <laughs> because you're so nice. <laughs> Not me. I'm too nice. <laughs> Bitch, you made me break a fucking five dollar fan. Not me. I'm too nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're so full of shit. You stink. <laughs> but, Go ahead, Christy. Give us. But I'm your- a blonde. But I'm blonde. I I should be forgiven everything because I'm blonde. Forgive yeah, everything. Peroxide's, yeah, because in this coronavirus, peroxide's gotten very expensive. Oh you so Christy, your opinion on a threesome when you're in a when you're oh, a sweetie. I can't. Okay, so the question is like, what do I think about having the threesome? Yeah, because the one the one guy he's thinking he's starting to have feelings for the third. I mean, so see that tends to happen. She th- just wants to know who's bringing the food. Who's bringing the food? <laughs> who's bringing the food? <laughs> who's bringing the pernil and the rice and beans and the <laughs> tamales and the tamales? <laughs> I'll bring the tamales. I oh, love she tamales. bringing the tamales. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I wouldn't do a threesome because I'm a very jealous person. I can't see myself, um, you know, sharing the person that I'm I'm dating and I'm like enjoying my time with, and then to have him. That's that's what's gonna happen. He's probably gonna fall in love with the other person or have affection, and, and, then, and then I'm gonna have. To like I him. said, she's Latina. If the yeah. man in question isn't satisfied by her, he could keep it fucking moving. <laughs> Very that. There you go. There you go. I have it. Because I have another... Christy will be like, Christy will be like, Poppy, I'm not enough for you. May the doorknob hit you where the dog should have bit you. I'll chop that dick off. Thank you, Lorena. Lorena Bobbitt. <laughs> Actually, I think Lorena was Colombian. Was she hey, Colombian or Dominican? Ecuadorian. Thank you. I cut that thing off. I cut Christy, it right off. What nationality I cut are you? She gonna cut it. Christy, I'm what from, nationality are you? I'm from El Salvador. El Salvadoran. Oh, I, yeah, I eat for pussy. Them, them El Salvadorian bitches don't fucking play. They don't play. Okay, we got the MS-13, honey. We got the MS-13. <laughs> oh, honey. Them bitches from El Salvador, they're not the one. They're not playing. Oh, no, they're really not. Not playing. All right, I have another question for Ask Alexis. Ask Loca. I have another question. This is this is kind of a serious one, though. This is kind okay. of a serious one. Okay. I'll pay attention. All right. So this is from a, a, a young, I guess, a younger viewer. So we have to be, we have to be, you know, it's from a younger viewer. So we've got, we've got to, you know, be respectable. You've got to be respectable white ladies. <laughs> I'm wearing my blonde hair. You're wearing your, you're well, wearing your blonde way, hair. Did you know Vaffan, do you, did you know Vaffanculo means have a nice day in Italian? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dear Alexis, how can I surely know I am gay? Like everyone is saying that they have known it since they were little kids. But can you figure out later that you somehow happen to love men? I told Don't my mother- he love me? I want to know. How can I tell if he loves me he so? Loves so? I told my mother about it's my in feelings. In his eyes. Oh no, you be Tony gonna kill you, Alexa. She's trying to say this question. Girl. I can mute her, girl. I can mute her. This could just be you and me. I can mute her. She don't, and she I don't can realize. I can mute her. Tra- and, and with the way traffic is, I could be at your door in 15 minutes. 
That is I can true. be at your door before the broadcast That's day. True. Go ahead, I Tony. My Mute mother me. about my feelings because I believe that she would help me with it. But she said to me, she knew me, and I can't like men because I obviously didn't like boys when I was a little kid. Does it really make sense? I am really confused. I don't think I am faking my feelings, but what if she is right? Signed anonymous. So what what do we say for, you know, a young, you know. Anonymous. Anonymous, a younger viewer. It's a, who, you kind, know, of vague, it's a kind of vague question, <clears throat> but especially in this very dramatic time, and I mean that all uh, drag queen shade aside, especially in this torrid and dramatic time, the only thing I could really tell you from the heart is to follow yours and be who you are. Mm -hmm. Because you look at us ladies, we make a living by perpetrating a fraud within the realms of the law, but we know who we are under these costumes. But even through these costumes, and in my case, the celebrities I impersonate, but I believe the other ladies do celebrities too on occasion. But the thing is, you can pretend to be whoever you like, but at the end of the day, the best and strongest person you're ever going to be is yourself. Very true. And do just that. Mm -hmm. Follow your heart and be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. That is the best. And if anyone doesn't like it, well, until they put food in your mouth, roof over your head, and clothes on your back, don't worry about what they say. Do what works for you. And everybody else can either stand aside or possibly pay attention and learn something. There you go. And Christy, what and do you say? My advice. What, what do you say to, you know, young, you know, LGBTQ. I gotta uh, totally agree with Alexis on this one. She really nailed it with that, mm -hmm. like be you and follow like your feelings of um on who you want to be. Because nowadays you can't tell um someone who they are or like what 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 path they should choose. It has to be yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to be the one um be like okay I'm gonna go this direction because I want to, not because he said so or she said so. It's it's because let's go. face it, anonymous. Look at the three of us. You see three very energetic and glamorous part-time ladies. I have to keep up with the eye with the glamour. <laughs> but we've all paid on different levels. We've all paid the price to be who we are. Mm -hmm. The only difference between myself and the other two ladies is I've been doing it longer. But nothing really I mean, I would have to say I took the brunt of it. It might have been easier for them than it was for me. Easier, but not easy. And who knows if it'll ever be easy. But do what we each did. Follow your heart and be who you are. Because at the end of the day, don't depend on mommy or daddy don't depend on the boyfriend or the flavor of the week. At the end of the day, especially if you travel the road that we've chosen to travel, or chosen, excuse me. If at the end of the day, you choose to travel the path that we've chosen, then at the end of the day, the only person that you'll ever be able to count on beyond a shadow of a doubt is yourself. And that doesn't mean you can't love and you can't be generous, but you have to have priority. Like say, everybody calls me mom or auntie or nanny or whatever. And I love them all and there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. But I no longer put them ahead of myself. And I'm gonna tell you why. If I had one slice of bread to feed myself and all my offspring, 
somebody thinking they're saying the right thing will be, oh, I would just split it up among them. No, I'd split it up among us. I would split the lion's share of that slice of bread among my offspring, but I'd save the crust for myself. I gotta have something because if I don't have anything, then I'll wither and die. And then who's gonna take care of my babies? You must look out for yourself first. It's okay to love, but you have to love yourself first. Because if you don't look out for yourself, if you're not good for yourself, then you'll never be good for anyone else. That's right. And if you're That's having right. relationship problems, if you don't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. And somebody who doesn't love themselves cannot love you. Very so stay true, true to yourself true. and spread the word. That's very true. What do you say, Christy? Uh, I can't follow. I, I totally agree with everything she said. Mm. I truly can't even say enough like that she she hit it right the nail on the coffin. Nice. Did I say the same correctly? <laughs> now I feel even. She can't follow me on a talk show, but I'd be scared to follow her on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Very it's the yin and the yang. yang. It's the yin and the you yang. Got, <laughs> you got me there. You but no, but seriously. There. Because we've all chosen a very specific road. And before we can be there for anyone else, okay, we got to be there for ourselves. Because you can be, you can have the biggest heart in the world. But unless your mind is as big as your heart, it all goes to waste. Very true. Very true. And, and Christy, do you, um, you know, being a judge and like a host for Polish the Queen, do you feel sort of like a, you know, that paternal role, you know, with these, you know, younger queens that are just coming up and looking, looking to you? Tell me about it. Like, I feel so much um, from them. Like, that's why I told you, like, when we were talking about, um, like, how I see the girls in a different light when I started working at Polish the Queen, it's like, I see, like, their hunger. I see who they, um, you know, they want to do drag so much because they've been influenced by, you know, not only because of, but mostly because of the show, but right. then they try to be themselves and try to change the drag up for them and, and how it works for them. And I love that part um, of the new girls that they're hungry. The only thing is that they can't um, try to be just like everybody that they see on TV. Like they have to be themselves. Now, Chrissy, and be I understand one where you're coming from. But see, now the problem I have, and Christy's absolutely right, a lot of these younger girls are hungry, but you still have to remember, and not to pat myself on the back, but you still have to remember ladies like me. I've been doing this longer than you've been breathing. Okay, like perfect example, Miss Stonewall, Sissy Walker. I adopted her as my daughter and I, I can't, I don't even have the words to say how proud of her I am. But actually, because Christy, Fifi Dubois is fabulous, but Fifi Dubois was not Christy's original co-hostess. There was another young lady co-hosting with you the first time that I uh, was a guest judge for Polish the Queen. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember her name right now, not because she's not fabulous, just because I'm having a senior moment. She, she did my pre-show. Like I said, I'm six, six minutes now. older than dirt. However, I remember when Sissy Walken performed in Polish the Queen. Mm -hmm. Great performer. But her makeup left me flat. And I'm not giving shade because Sissy would admit this herself. So I'm not dishing my own daughter, but her makeup left me flat. I loved everything else and she did not win that night, but I scored her the way I did and told her why. And she took it to heart, but not in a bad way. Like a lot of younger ladies would. Mm -hmm. She went back up, she went backstage 
she looked at herself in the mirror and she goes, and she's like, the old lady's got a point. The next time I saw Sissy walking, her makeup was popping. It was banging. And then mm. after that, she became Miss Stonewall. Okay, when an older, for all you younger queens out there, okay, I'm established. Tony is established. Christy is established. Now, sometimes, and I mean this most of all for myself, because I'm a shady old tag. <laughs> When you enter a competition, you might not like what the judges have to say. But like say, when I am asked to be a judge on a competition, and Phil also admired this, I'm not trying to be nice. The event is polish the queen. Okay, you don't polish with pretty words. You polish with sandpaper and advice. Because when I first started, I wasn't all that. I had to learn how to be all that. You had to learn how to be all that. You oh, okay. had to learn how to be all that. We and we didn't have, we didn't have the internet learn. back then like that. I had VHSs. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? And there's only so much you can learn on YouTube and RuPaul's Drag Race Girls. That, so, that, is, that is so true. I'm a name. Tony is a name. Christy is a name. Okay, whether you like the way it's worded or not, young ladies, if a name tells you something, you might want to listen because we weren't always names mm. okay we had to go through what you're going through now and we made it and we okay we probably, even we if you don't like, like the way we work. what we probably had it harder because we had to push doors to get our gigs back then oh honey i don't even want to attempt to explain then, to, to like, you push how hard i me. had it like to be on the stage of Escuelita, to be on the stage of, you know, um, El Morocco, on the other clubs that are no longer with us, um, at Coliseum in Jersey, and all these clubs. I like, worked at Studio 54 in the Red Parrot. <laughs> but, Legendary <laughs> clubs. I can't, oh, the Roxy. Oh, the line, all those clubs, they, oh. We had to push through, and now it's easier for girls to like go out there and seek a, a opportunity. There's so much chances they have. Yeah, but also, like say in my day, when I finally hit my stride and made a name, and I was fortunate enough to work with an Evie at Lacage, when I first hit my when I first hit my stride and made my name, I didn't walk into a bar for less than three hundred dollars. And now, girls today have a titty attack that, now that they're not making big money. Oh Number my God. one, drag in New York does not pay what it used to pay. Number two, and I hope there's club owners listening, if and when the clubs reopen, okay? Nobody wants to pay the girls good money unless they've been on RuPaul's Drag Race. And that's all hopsy topsy and lollipops. <laughs> but the thing is, at the end of the day, RuPaul's Drag Race only has one winner. The rest of the bitches got eliminated. <laughs> but you're still going to pay them top dollar just because they were on RuPaul. And not for nothing, I'm friends with a lot of the RuPaul girls, and I have massive respect for them. But what about fabulous current entertainment like you, Tony, and you, Christy? You're not getting paid the money that you're worth by the clubs just because you haven't been on RuPaul. What about me? I has been with a great wardrobe. What about me? I may be even at Lacage alumni, 
but that means nothing now because I'm not RuPaul alumni. That is so okay. true. RuPaul did a lot as far as getting us back in the limelight. But while she was helping us, she was also hurting us because now the clubs will only pay decent money if you've been on RuPaul. What about all the great talent that's too old to go on RuPaul? What about all the great talent, okay, that has yet to be on RuPaul? Just because a lady hasn't been on Drag Race doesn't mean she can't turn the beat around. Thank you, Vicki Sue Robinson and Lauren Brannigan and Gloria Stefan. Okay, you don't have to appear on RuPaul's Drag Race to put an audience on their ear. I've been doing it long before there was a RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, so if you're lying on a queen, because I know of a couple of queens that were paid good money to appear in clubs after being on RuPaul's Drag Race. And when they appeared in those clubs, they did not bring a following. Oh. Oh, but still got paid. That is such a fact. And then you're bringing like the whole crowd. And I'm not going to call up. any of these ladies out by name. But it's a true fact. Some of these ladies who don't have that much talent, they were just fortunate enough to get on Drag Race. Okay. Now they've been on Drag Race, they're commanding a price, but they're not delivering the following. So the clubs feel ripped off by booking them. That is so true. Very true. But what can, any, what can anyone do? And I'm not saying bad about Drag Race or the ladies who've appeared on it, because I'm friends with a lot of the ladies and a lot of them are great performers, mm -hmm. okay? But sometimes it takes a little bit more. I, be, I was even in Lacage. I've been on TV more than once. Sometimes it takes a little bit more than just having been on television to pack a bar or a club. Very true. So if there's any club owners or managers watching, just because the girl was on Drag Race does not guarantee she's going to pack your bar. Think about that. When there's local talent that everybody loves and everybody knows and will pack your bar to see yes. that have not yeah. been on Drag Race, but they know her, she's a local girl, and they follow her. Oh, Alexis, um... Tom Cat has joined us. Um, Dolores. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, I love Tom Cat. Dolores Tom has joined Kat us. Came to visit me just Is the Melito other day. Has joined us. Who joined us? Is Melito. Izzy, mama loves you. You were the little <laughs> asshole. Uh, one, of, one of your drag daughters, Chi Chi, has joined us. Chi Chi Scandalous Flame. <laughs> <laughs> Another Olivia London hater. I ain't mad. Oop. We don't say that thing. And I oop. 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 Christy, I'm going to mm -hmm. inbox you my phone number later. Bitch, I will tell you the whole tea. Honey, girl, we will have a tea party after the show, bitch. I will tell you all about that. <laughs> oh, God. Girl, you ain't, if you ever thought you kiki, <laughs> no, you have not. Dial a ho after the show. <laughs> Dial a ho. Dial a ho. This will be the aftermath. The aftermath kiki. <laughs> you know what? We could have a naughty or a nice after party. I thought that's what this was. <laughs> I thought that's what this was. 
This is the nice part. <laughs> We've got a gorilla for sale. Magilla, a gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him? Take him home and try him. Gorilla for sale. <laughs> See in the window, Magilla. I can't. You and these songs. No, no, girl, you really can't. And neither could she. That, oh, by the way, Tony, before talking Tony, and before naughty and nice, I vaguely recall this show called Diva Time. Weren't you a co-hostess on that? <laughs> Do you have any more drink in there left? <laughs> Won't you find buy girl. him? I'm trying to find some so bad, girl. Help me, Christy Blaze. Help me. Help me, Christy. Christy Blaze. Help me, Christy. Oh, Christy Blaze. Help me, help me. Help me, Christy. Help me, Christy. Help me, Christy. Help me, Christy. Help me, Christy Blaze. I know that Chi Chi and LaBelle are on the floor right now. <laughs> I know they are, as they yeah, say in the ghetto, fighting. no more good. Oh they no, said, they are ass. just on the floor, a total wreck. <laughs> no, actually, no. LaBelle is not a total wreck. LaBelle is sitting on the couch with snacks. Hey, LaBelle, you see what had happened was. You see, what had happened was. <laughs> What happened was now LaBelle is on go. the floor. There you go. <laughs> and here we are without any pie. Is is he wants okay. his margarita? Okay. Is is he wants a margarita? Do. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Izzy. We we drank it all. We finished them, we polished them off. Polished, we polished them off. We like polished the queen. <laughs> we polished Thank the you. margaritas off like polished the queen. Oh, I killed her. And, and Christy is, <laughs> oh, and Christy is like, what did that old bitch with the fangs get me into? <laughs> Christy Blaze is like, what the hell? Who the hell got me? Christy Blaze is like, who the hell got put me on this show? She's like, I, I did. <laughs> Christy, Christy is Chi Chi Rodriguez from Tu Wong Fu. Did I uh, ask to come on this trip? No, I don't think so. Uh, did Christy, I ask? Christy, Chi Chi Scandalous says this trip says, hey, sucks. Hey. It sucks. Chi Chi Scandalous is saying, hey, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Hola, hey, Chi -Chi. hey, Chi Chi Scandalous. Watch after this show, Christy is going to block my fat ass on Facebook. <laughs> She's going to block this girl. <laughs> She's like, let me get off. She's like, let me get off. Let me get off this live feed. I got people to block. <laughs> block. A few people to block. <laughs> no, Christy ain't going to block me. She's going to come over here for some no. jewelry and some pernil. Right, then she'll block, okay. then she'll block you. She getting the jewelries and then she'll block you. <laughs> she ain't blocking my little right? dance until after she gets paid. Did, did they say that we could travel now? Like, since we, we could do my more groups of like 25 now? <laughs> See, that's so, why I love this <laughs> She's gonna get a wig, a wig for oh. my husband and, and then she'll I'm, block me after right. she gets the wig. <laughs> I think I, I think if I go visit Alexa, she'll probably like um keep me kidnapped. She wouldn't know if I'm um who I am when I she see me. <laughs> She's like, who's that man? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, uh, uh. Pretty much. Little 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 Latin boy in drag. Why are you crying? Are you crying? <laughs> oh, I already know why the little Latin boy in drag is crying. I ain't even gonna ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be little Latin boy in drag. You want to cry? I will give you something else to cry about. <laughs> oh, oh, see now, that's just wrong, Christy. That's just wrong, girl. You that is so wrong. 
<laughs> she's like, she's like, that's okay. You can give me something else to cry about while you writing me in for a bigger chunk of the will. <laughs> Oh, Izzy, Izzy says I'll the little Latin boy. Izzy says the little Latin boy is crying because Menudo broke up. <laughs> <laughs> Izzy ate the Menudo. Isn't that the soup? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, 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 oh Lord! <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it, Christy. Is the is the super? <laughs> See, Tony, that's why I've been gathering guests for this show. <laughs> I have. I if you want. Anyone out there watching, if you want to appear on Naughty or Nice, nice. you Thank have you. to be as twisted as we are. That's pretty <laughs> twisted. I'm the sober one. I'm drinking water. Which I call you pretzel because you're twisted. <laughs> oh, think... and those bitches. Christy. Those sheer Bitches. How else do you think so I can do this show with her? I have, I have to do this, she girl. Get them it's, the only, too. it's the only way I can get through it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> the only way that I can, I can survive it, girl. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Christy's like, watch. After this, any Facebook inbox messages, Christy's going to mute my ass. Watch. I wouldn't from you. You entertain me. <laughs> I enjoy you so much. She's gonna, she's let gonna me be, she's gonna be like, entertain Alexis you. Ale Alexis let who? me make you Tony smile. who? She's going to be I, I don't know you girls. I don't know yeah, you. Right? I don't know you hoes. <laughs> I don't know you hoes. <laughs> the only hoes I know is pantyhose. <laughs> And they're riding up right now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Oh. I need some air. <laughs> oh. Well, before Tony and I close out the show, the first thing I want to do is thank our lovely and amazingly talented guest, the illustrious, soon to join me as legendary, Christy Blaze. Already Ooh, legendary amazing. Christy Blaze. Give us a shimmy, girl. Shimmy. Shake it, girl. Shake it. Yes. Twirl, bitch. Shake twirl. it, but don't break it. I'm trying to shake them. Oh, damn. Them, but don't break them. Girl, do fries go with that shake? <laughs> that, she's not wearing a breastplate. Them's those isolation titties. <laughs> It's called duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we all gained weight. Actually, I'm the only queen who lost weight during isolation. Oh my God, for really? Uh, when I, I look at this, so she when I bought says. this, no, when I bought this blouse, see how it moves. When I bought this blouse, it fit like a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only bitch I know who lost weight during quarantine. Mm -hmm. And I hope the rest of you bitches found it. <laughs> it Actually, I'm glad yeah, she, she is watching. It came to me. Because the weight that I lost, my daughter Chi Chi found some of it. <laughs> oh. She's oh, video. She no. I, like, like Christy. Out of drag, Chi Chi is a gorgeous boy. But Chi Chi don't got thick. <laughs> oh, hey, girl, hey. That is the naughty part of the show. We're not supposed to be talking like that's that. That's the okay. naughty. Hence, she's why, that's why she's the Chris naughty. 
and, and, and she, the knife. She, she asked me, like, why, why is my picture under the naughty? I'm like, why do you think? Why do you think your picture's under the naughty? I'm, I'm, I'm too busy looking at Christy. That bitch needs sequin depends right about now. <laughs> I'm trying to move so I can Christy's get the ventilation about to going. Wet herself. <laughs> I got to... No, but but uh, Izzy well... says shake your tatas. <laughs> Izzy says shake your tatas, Christy. I want to live in America. Everything's free in America. <laughs> With. Oh, by the way, everybody watching, look for Chi Chi's Scandalous Flame uh, to be a guest probably in August. But I really want to thank my freshly minted niece, the amazing Christy Blaze, Yay. for joining us tonight. Mwah. Christy, tell everyone where they can find you on social media. Yes, Ale please. Alexis doesn't know what social media is, so. Including your OnlyFans page, Christy. I was supposed to say that. And I, ooh. And I, and I ooh. And I, so, ooh. And I, ooh. <laughs> well, you can find me on um, Instagram, Facebook. Mammogram. Um, Snapchat. TikTok, everything is Chrissy underscore Blaze. So it's very easy. You can find me in all of them the same way. Oh, she's very easy, oh, just okay. like us. Yeah, well, it's, well it's like I'm, not easy. I'm not gonna tell you all my <laughs> social media links. Just type in Alexis Flame and scroll past the criminal record. I thought you're supposed <laughs> to like draw a pentagram and chant your name seven times. And then you That's appear. only if you want me to visit you. Oh, okay. Okay, I got okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Christy, you're beautiful. Yeah. And we love you. Thank you so much for appearing with us. So beautiful. So talented. Thank you for having me. Oh, and by the way, look for her on YouTube. Just type her name in. I'm sure she's there. And Christy. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised if your TT Lex asks you to join us again in the near future. Mwah. Love you, girl. Oh, I would love to. I would love to. And then I have some margaritas as well while I'm doing it, so I could feel more yeah. like you know naughty. Oh, girl, girl, I, I anyone, can't. I can't get through this without as alcohol, as girl. Naughty, anyone as far as naughty, look up Christy Blaze on Facebook. She did some podcasts as a boy. Oh, y'all want to get naughty. Trust. <laughs> Trust That's me. why I had to make a boy Instagram. <laughs> talent, and, talent and trade. What could be better? And, she, and she's going to make only fan pages both in and out of drag. <laughs> hey, that's the end thing right now. You know, and, it, and, if she, and if she wasn't before, she is now. Mm -hmm. Christy, honey, thank you for joining us. Mwah. Thank Keep you so love much, you Christy. Bye, girl. Love Good you, night, love sweetheart. You. Good night. She's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to. We're going to say goodbye to Christy. We're going to say goodbye to Christy, and now Bye -bye. Alexis, you and I. It's just you and I. We can say goodbye to everyone who's, who's watching, who's, who stuck around. For somebody, friends, sisters, and pals, we'll always be for somebody. Life should reject you. There's, There's me to protect me to you. Protect you. <laughs> no, but everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, everyone. And I do feel the need to tell you, we wouldn't be here if not for the creative talents of my co-hostess, Tony Homeburn, myself. Naughty or Nice is indeed a Tony Homeburn production. A Tony Homeburn production 
Fueled by tequila. <laughs> oh, you mean tequila? Tequila. <laughs> That's okay, honey. Mine's only ginger ale. I'm getting in the car as soon as I log off. <laughs> All right. So for everyone who's still with us, we will uh, be back again on Thursday, June 11th. And this time we should have no, no difficulties in starting at 7 p.m. But hey, we may start a few minutes after. What are you going to oh, do? Oh, come on. What are you going to do about it? What drag show anytime, it's a drag anywhere show. starts it's a drag on show. We're in a pandemic. Give us a freaking break. <laughs> hey, Tony. You know, I just realized. Yes. So far, this has been a show that plays favorites. Up until now, yes. all of our guests yes. have either been nieces, nephews, or my children. Very true. I believe our next guest star is somebody who's not related to me. No. Nope. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's one of she's one of my Long Island sisters, uh, Miss Stella Virgin. Oh, uh, I've an, seen her. An ama amazing Another performer. One. Amazing you know dancer. What? You had the gall to try to read me. I know who Stella Virgin is. Another one who's disgustingly young and pretty. And you read me for Christy? So thin. So th another one so thin. How do I? Uh, I'm a glutton oh, for please. punishment. That bitch can use one of my engagement rings as a belt. Absolutely. Yes, it's true. It's true. The, the hubris. The hubris. <laughs> I'm go in the words of Beatrice Arthur as channeled through Top Cat. God will get you for that, Walter. God will get you for that, Walter. <laughs> Shady Pines, Ma. Shady Pines. <laughs> Speaking of Shady Pines, isn't it about your bedtime, Tony? Oh, it's way past. It's way past. My See, Lord. that's one of the beautiful things about being undead. Oh. I can't go to sleep yet. It's oh. still dark outside. I, I like it. When, I like it when it's dark outside, because when it's dark outside, you can't tell that my overpaid housekeeper don't do windows. There you go. Good there help is go. just so hard to find. I, I know, I know. So, until the next naughty or nice, I am the naughty Alexis Flame. And I'm the nice Tony Homper. And if you speak fluent gay, there's nothing nice about being Nice. nice. No, nothing, nothing at all. And in the words of my alter ego, the Hara Diva, good night and naughty nightmare. Thank you good all. Night all. all. Thank you all for watching. And we look forward to seeing you on our next episode. Tony, date, please. You, uh, that's, um, oh, I lost the date. June eleventh, June eleventh, Thursday, June eleventh, seven p.m. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to be on time, you know. But hey, oh, it's a pandemic. What do you want from us, people? It's yes. a pandemic. Emphasis on the word try. Oh, and by the way, Tony. Yes. After the disgustingly young, thin, and pretty Stella Virgin. <laughs> Isn't our next guest star yet another one of my children? Yes, June 25th. Ooh, girl, Bryce in Adonis. Ooh, ooh. I only have gorgeous children, especially oh. my sons. 
All of my daughters and nieces just, are beautiful. Just thinking about Bryce eating Adonis. Woo! Woo! I need to, I need to fan myself. I need to fan myself thinking about Bryce. So do a lot of people. Yet, it's because of my sons that the producers of Jerry Springer are offering a large reward for my whereabouts. I'll bet. I'll bet. So, yeah, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great uh, Pride Month, right? Oh, yes, it is. And speaking of Pride Month. Yes. Because we do this show on alternate Thursdays. Yeah. Let's digress to when we're not doing naughty or nice. That other show you do that I'm not part of. <laughs> you will. You, you're booked. You're booked. Yeah, booked, but not an actual part of. You're I'm booked. Talking, I'm talking Tony. Mm -hmm. during Pride Month. Mm -hmm. And you know, Tony, I really think we should augment the naughty or nice page to cover both Talking Tony and naughty or, and, or nice. It does. It does. No, but I think, no, but I really think we should make it official since you actually, I only co-host with you. You mm -hmm. actually produce both shows. True. So, and since we're building a following, I really think you should incorporate the page. Yeah. As no, a I always post fact, my Talking Tony stuff on. We on might the just make the page Tony Home Firm Production. Mm. Yes. But uh, yeah, so next I Thursday. I seem to vaguely recall another uh, a drag run Long Island production company, very short lived. I can't, to save my life, remember the name of it. LaBelle, get up off the floor and have a slice of pie with whipped cream. And, and speaking of which, the next episode of Talking Tony, I will have none other than David May Oko as Liberace. That's where I was getting fought for pride. Thank you. Now, mind you, David Mayoko. As Liberace on the next Talking Tony to kick off Pride so. Month. Yes. David Mayoko is a very handsome and talented young man. Yes, he is. But just like Tony Homeperm and I cast an illusion, so does David Mayoko. An amazing And I've illusion. had my time in Las Vegas. David Mayoko resurrects a late friend of mine. David Mayoko appears as the legendary pianist, Liberace. And because I knew me, I was fortunate enough to meet him and become friends with him during my Las Vegas days. Seeing David is like being haunted, but not in a bad way. Right. It's like being haunted by a missed friend. Because like Tom Cat is Beatrice Arthur, David Mayoko does not simply impersonate the Barachi. David Mayoko channels and becomes Liberace. Yes. And if you haven't seen him perform yet then I really suggest you tune in because he's beyond amazing. And, and he even plays the, he really plays the piano like He Lamar not G. only looks like Lee, but he plays like Lee and sings like Lee. I defy you all to go on YouTube and watch David's videos as compared to Liberace's videos and I defy you to explain to me the difference beyond the background. He's an amazing performer. And I hope to actually get to meet him sometime soon. Maybe Tony Homeperm can arrange it. Hell, Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. Tony will edit it. But, <laughs> but not just naughty or nice, but be sure to also follow 
Talking Tony. And because those of you who aren't old enough to remember or to have seen Liberace, well, guess what? David Mayoko can expose you to the legend. I mean, you would swear Liberace has come back. Absolutely. But on that note, watch both Talking Tony and Naughty or Nice. We thank you all on behalf of both of us. We thank you all for tuning in. And definitely, you can't follow one show without following the other. No, you can't. And you never know when we might surprise you with a crossover. And Tony's like, the hell do you mean crossover? <laughs> <laughs> what do you but mean no. time? What do you mean time? <laughs> Talk about a time. So, you know, well, as soon as we go off the air, your phone's ringing. You know that, right, girl? What you mean, Ty? <laughs> should we? Should I tell the story, Tony? I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> the only difference is I got more margarita. You don't. No, I have got left. It's okay. Wait, I have a drop. <laughs> I have a drop left. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, help me, Lord. I'm just going to sit and wait and see what color the wall got to. God's going to get you for that, Walter. <clears throat> truly, 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 I love me some Tony Home Farm. But I never liked that bitch. And she made me break my fan, too. My fan is in one piece. <laughs> my fan's and Now she had to be an asshole. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Tony Home Firm Show. <laughs> oh, draft. <laughs> this one won't break. I said she made me break my fan. Don't break the I fan. Said, I never said I didn't have more than one. <laughs> Meanwhile, back to me. Uh, uh. There is a particular person would like to be regarded as a drag queen, who Tony and I have both had brief dealings with. And this person has the most unsavory reputation. She makes me look like a choir girl as far as basic shade. She has never advanced to lunar eclipse. And the difference between this person and Tony and I is that when Tony and I book ladies for club engagements, the ladies actually get paid. The person in question only paid ladies no mind. Mm. Oh, and by the way, Tony, I'm probably very naughty for doing this, uh, but I'm going to put it out there just because I'm old and I don't care. Tony, do I recall Nice try. <laughs> yeah, no. Ms. Home Perm, <coughs> do I recall uh, that the person in question has recently contacted you 
trying to read you for talking trash about them. Perhaps. Do you remember what I told you, Miss Holmes? No, please, please rem remind me. I told you to advise that creature should it contact you again. And that it wasn't you talking trash, but it was me. And I cordially invite her, especially after ripping me off, after performing in her employ, I cordially invite her to contact and challenge me. Have I been naughty? I'm not a co-host on this show for nothing. <laughs> yes, yes, I was very naughty. However, also knowing the ins and outs of the law, let her come for me. I'd actually like her to, because anything that I've ever said can all be verified because it's all true. She's a piping hot steaming mess and she's notorious for not paying her guest performers. And I, any other questions? None for I, re I really can't mention names, but her initials are OL, and I hear the weather in London is quite foggy. I've written a letter to Ted. Hey, by the way, Tony, you know we got rats in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> See, even after we end the show, Tony and I just have to give you 15 to 30 minutes worth of other nonsense. It's what we call our cool down drink. <laughs> no, but Tony, I want to thank you again for creating this so we can work together online. Because Tony Home Firm is truly amazing. And anyone following Naughty or nice, nice, I thank you. But you really need to follow Talking Tony too, because Tony Home Perm is the driving force behind both shows. And she's simply amazing. Thank you. And in only a couple of years, you'd never guess that she hasn't been doing it much longer, having nothing to do with age, but having to do with polish and professionalism. Thank you. Thank Never you. mind my hat. I take my wig off to Tony Homer. Off camera, of course. Off camera. <laughs> hey, you know, my my quarantine video hit 1,500 views. Hit See, I can't imagine why. I, I, if I'm you like... haven't seen it, it's not only on Tony Homer's Facebook page and my Facebook page as well. About check naughty or nice. <laughs> and also make sure you, as a matter of fact, I'm okay. gonna play Tony Home Pub. So Tony, where can we find you on social media? Oh, just look up Tony Home Perm. You know, she's she's all over. She's like, you know, she's like an STD. You can't get rid of her. Yahoo her. Google her. Google her. Check the men's room wall at the bowling alley. You know, she does the mammogram and the and the FaceTime and and all the the social the social internet super highway. No, but also another one of Tony Home Perms, and many amazing gifts is uh rewriting verse and lyrics. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting one dedicated to, well. For your birthday. For your birthday. 
Yeah, that's two months from now. Yeah, I know. Can you believe it? I will probably. Right, still, however, just to we'll make still sure be stuck here. We're still gonna be stuck here. <laughs> What can you do? <laughs> what can, what you, can do? you do? What can you do? But... Oh, wait, I know what I can do. I can do Betty Davis and you can be Olivia de Havilland. You're just a vile, sorry little bitch. Why wouldn't I tell your father his sweet, innocent daughter was having a nasty little affair with a married man. That me? No, no, it's not true. <laughs> Don't make me drop a stone planter on your head, girl. <laughs> uh, if when this whole quarantine is over, <laughs> or possibly before then, because she's just as stir crazy as I am, Tony Holmberg is going to come to my house, and we're going to watch back to back whatever happened to Baby Jane and Hush Hush, hush, sweet hush Charlotte. Sweet Charlotte. Get off my property! <laughs> Where you are standing, I could spit in your eye with no strain at all. <laughs> I will be, and don't be surprised if in our infinite boredom and her husband's wig skill, we don't start recreating for you Schlock clips from whatever happened to Baby Jane and Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. If I wasn't in this wheelchair. <laughs> but you are, oh, Blanche. You are still in that chair. And tell me one of these awful things I'm supposed to be doing to you. Oh, by the way, Blanche, you know we got racks in the cellar. <laughs> Uh, Lunch, Miss Hudson. Why, certainly, Miss Hudson. I'm sure we can find something appropriate for you, Miss Hudson. Miss Big Fat Movie Star, Miss Rotten Stinking Actress. You know, Tony, to hell with Jessica Lang and Susan Sarandon. They should have cast us for feud. Yeah, I know, right? right? Tony, we got robbed, girl. Robbed. See, all these other bitches are always getting our roles. You know, That's Tony, so we should take a Facebook poll about this. Uh. Who would love to see a remake of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane with Alexis Flame as Baby Jane and Tony Holmperm as Blanche Hudson? Tony, something tells me I'm going to regret having asked that question. Be careful about what you ask. Yeah, but the good thing is we're good on weights. True. Very true. There is that. And you know what? If we do it, just so you all know, it'll only be certain excerpts. But you know what? Her and I are not beyond doing this. Because especially since there's no actually actual club dates in sight at the moment. We're not beyond doing this. But based on audience participation and feedback, we'll determine whether we go and also recreate Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte. Mm -hmm. 
Poor Frank has his work cut out for him now. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I got, in I got case, him trapped in, in the case, room. In case nobody knows, Tony Holmperm is actually an E. See, you all think that I'm really the evil one. She keeps that poor, nice man shackled and chained to a tripod and a canvas wig box. <laughs> Don't forget the bottle of got to be, the spray can of got to be glued. <laughs> and there's that. And she admits it. Oh, by the way, Tony, this is what I love about the Zoom app. You can't really tell that I need a manicure. I never got around to redoing my nails. I just colored the part where it chipped with a red Sharpie. There you go. There you go. Who needs all those Instagram filters? Uh, one of my, one of my press-ons fell off. <laughs> I heard that about you. I know. So, by the way, um, because there's no end to this pandemic, I should have conferred with Tony first. Hey, girl. Hey, surprise. Just because there's no end to this pandemic in sight, and no one can deny that Tony and I have a kind of sort of comedic chemistry going on, because I'm so naughty and she's so nice. I ah, Get off the floor, LaBelle. <laughs> I'm going to call her later, too. She's not even going to pick up the phone. Oh, your, your son, Mike Flame, is watching. Your, Mike Flame has joined. And as always, arrives to the party fashionably late. Fashionably late. Sometimes, hey, Mike, fashionably yeah. late. But better, yeah, better I late love than you, never. I love you, son. But just so you know for the future, sometimes fashionably late is too late. We're wrapping it up. Up, I say. And by the way, Tony, you know we got rats in the summer. <laughs> but no, as far as our little comedy bouts, and Tony, we're eventually going to have to sing Bosom Buddies live on this show. Yes. If anybody within reason, and I do have to stress within reason, mm -hmm. has suggestions for any little short skits that Tony and I can do together. We can't guarantee that they would air, but we would love to hear your suggestions because we're here to entertain you. And there's nothing wrong with all of our sisters with Venmo and PayPal links. Hell, a gal's got to pay her bills somehow. And that's coming from the original hoe herself. Uh, you can't blame a hoe for doing what hoes do. That's right. You can't judge a hoe for doing what hoes do. But we're here basically to entertain you and hoping that when this is all over, and the clubs are open again. You'll remember the nice ladies who took advice <clears throat> from Mama Rose and said, let me entertain, entertain you. you. Let Thank me make you smile. Let me turn a few tricks, some old and then some new tricks. I'm very versatile. And if you're real good, I'll make you feel good. I want your spirits to climb. So let me entertain you. And, and we'll, we'll have, have a real, real good, good time, time yes, sir. And we'll, we'll have. have 
a real, real good, good time. time. All right, Tony. Do you think it's time to say good night, girl? Yeah, because Chi Chi is waiting for you to get online so she can call you. <laughs> my daughter needs to pick a number and stand in line. She's I have to it. silence my phone. Girl, she's waiting for you to get up. Like, girl, my phone is lit up like Times Square. It's not cute. <laughs> Chi Chi is waiting for you to get 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 offline so she can call you. Be, she can be like, girl. Girl. You can pull all the stops out till they call the cops out. Cry till you find all your best. Chi Chi's anyway. gonna, gonna call you and gonna be like, Ty, what do you mean, Ty? <laughs> uh oh, that means my daughter went to the dollar store and she got some whipped cream with some happy birthday plates. What you mean, Ty? Oh, that's another thing. Back to that story. <laughs> and hi. So this creature <clears throat> that Tony and I have both had the displeasure of working with, and if anyone wants to run back and tell her, Is the story of a lovely lady who is being very shady behind a fan. Me? Shady? No, not you, Tony. Because you're so nice. Nice. I couldn't possibly be shady. No, but you could follow your auntie and be a lunar eclipse. <laughs> it's the eclipse. It's the eclipse. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, back to me. The man Pay no the moon attention. is a lady. <laughs> a lady with lipstick and curls. Don't ever offend her. Remember her gender. Her gender. The man. Where's in Tom Cat when you need her? I don't know. I don't know. She's so and so. So, anyway. Anywho. Before we get back to the rats in the cellar. So this person in question, the last, <laughs> I really fucking hate you, Tony. Everybody, never mind Tony Home Firm by Lilt. Goodbye, Mr. Francis. I can perm my hair all by myself. Have an egg roll, Mr. Goldstone. Have a napkin, have a chopstick, have a chair. Any spare that I can spare, I'd be glad to share. How do you like them egg rolls? Apple. How do you like them apples? apples? How do you like them apples? Meanwhile, back to me. I can't, I can't even look at this bitch. I love Tony Home Prep so much that I hate her guts. <laughs> and she's totally okay with it. Look, I can, I, I, I can be any I can be any drag queen in creation right now. See, who am I? You're every woman. It's all in. <laughs> so anyway, so this creature that no decent queen will ever work with again, because this creature has a, a habit. I dare say she's famous, infamous, and notorious for booking ladies and not paying them. If you know her name, feel free to put it in the comments. So anyway, back to Pi. So after this creature- Pi, that's, that's a mathematical- 
That's a mathematical formula, isn't it? For anyone with a brain cell working, yes, but we're not talking about people with working brain cells. <laughs> so, after this person's so-called drag career, which was which was basically built on the backs of real drag queens like myself and Tony Holmberg. After she basically alienated herself from everybody, the last known social media video of her was at a pie eating contest. And no, my dears, no, not bakery pie. Oh, no, not that. Because you have to understand, <clears throat> this wasn't a sophisticated competition. This was incredibly good and I love pie. I love pie. I have some business to take care of, so why don't you just mind your own? <laughs> Thank you. So, the last known vi I'm getting text messages. If one of these texts is from Lady LaBelle, I will be no more good. <laughs> Unless that's Tony texting me while she's on camera. Not me. So now, after this alleged lady already buried her own drag career after trying to build it on the backs of other drag queens, because the first thing about this so-called lady, let's talk about how she dresses. When the goodwill bin exploded, she might have wanted to talk. I can't with Tony Holmberg. <laughs> Notice, Tony's trying to be so nice, but she's offering no argument or defense. So the last seen social media video of this person, I guess that's, no, we'll say creature. The, was in a pie eating contest. But it wasn't an actual pie. No, no, not an actual pie. No, my dears, my dear. This wasn't actual pie. And the language in this video was ever so <laughs> the language in this video was ever so <clears throat> low rent and vulgar talking about titties and tony home from and i never ever talk about titties now do we tony Oh, never, never. Madison Mansfield, Bella Noche. Do you gals ever talk about titties? Never. never. We never ever talk about titties. So anyway, so this person I'm so done with Tony Homer <laughs> That was so wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Do I got lipstick on my teeth? LaBelle is probably <laughs> on her way to the emergency room right now, <laughs> along with Annie Mantle, too. Oh, girl. When we get off camera, you know our inboxes are gonna be full. 
And anyone who wants to speak to me after the broadcast, wait in line because Tony and I will be on the phone. Oh, bitch, please. I'm just going to sit back and wait and see what color the wall is going to turn. In the meantime, I already bit the bitch. She doesn't cast a reflection anymore. Nothing. But sweetie. Please so please. anyway, so the last seen video of this individual, and I'm being gracious with that, she was in a pie eating contest. And no, not real pie, not an item purchased from your local bakery or made in your very own oven. No, 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 no. This pie was created on dollar store birthday plates and no frills ready with. I ask you that. And to add insult to injury, this bitch is like six foot four, weighs close to 300 pounds, and couldn't even finish the contest. The contest was declared a tie. Oh, and by the way, if anyone wants to know how I witnessed this video, it was sent to me by none other than Tony Home Farm. Let's hear it for Tony Home Farm. And then, like I said, for kitties, to add insult to injury, and all it was was ready whip on a and bootleg ready whip at that. Booty, bootleg, ready whip. Okay. And to add insult to injury, she didn't even win the contest. It was a tie. And when I saw this video, and saw that it was declared a tie. I was channeling Nagzima Jackson from Two Wong Fu. Ta! What she mean, ta? As Tony Holmberg now wishes she had sequin defense. <laughs> and considering that technically, because this creature contacted Tony, daring to say that Tony was talking trash about her. Let us all get the record straight for posterity. Tony Holmperm never talked publicly about her, only with her best girlfriends. Tony Holmperm never talked publicly about this person. It was me. And since this person also knows that they still owe me money, I cordially invite them to grow up there and contact me. Tony, I hope you have a spin mop, girl. A what? A spin mop. A sp I need a spin mop. I need Especially a spin mop. Especially now. So, the person in question, if she's watching or has any spies, now the record is straight. It wasn't Tony Holmberg. It was Alexis Flame. And I still want the rest of my money. So if you have a problem with anyone saying anything, especially since everything I said is actually true, then instead of bothering Tony, Feel free to grow, harvest, borrow, or buy a set, and contact me. Don't sing it, girl. Bring it. And I, oop. I am Alexis Flame, and I approve this message. <laughs> I think I used to be Tony Holmberg. I don't know who I am now. <laughs> 
No, Just I'm always Tony Home Perm. I'm always Tony Home Perm. No, and the only reason I carried it the way I did just now is because this person did talk, call, uh, contact Tony Holmperm. And Tony Holmperm was never anything but gracious and kind to this person. And normally, I dare say, such shade is actually beneath me. But you have to understand, if you, can, if you want to come for me, I could be the lady that I portray and let it go, or the man that I am and handle it. But Tony's one of my closest friends and my niece. Tony Home Perm is mine. If you come for mine, which this person did, Tony Home Perm is not my friend, she's family. If you come for mine, it doesn't matter how I'm dressed, you messed up. And especially the problem wasn't with Tony Home Perm. Bring the problem to where it originated. And also, even beyond all of that foo-foo, okay? In this particular time, when we should all be looking out for each other, and the only reason that I got this petty is because the person chose to bother somebody who doesn't bother anybody else trying to get to me. That's why I brought it out. But all of this drag queen drama and foo foo aside, in today's climate, seriously, uh, this is a time to put all social, uh, I don't know if social is the right word. Now is the time, which is going to sound stupid after my last rant, but I got to say it anyway, because there was a reason for the rant, because Somebody innocent was attacked because they had a problem with me, a problem that they created and didn't have the cojones to face. But now, aside from drag queen foo-foo, let's get real before we say goodnight. In this current climate of social distancing and everything else, now's the time to put all drama and foo-foo and negative feelings aside, whether you're friends or not, if you were at least friends at one time, and never mind just the LGBTQ society, what's left of society or civilization on the whole, now is the time in all honesty and seriousness that we need to put all foo-foo and BS aside and just say, hey, I know we haven't been getting along, but are you okay? Now is the time to put all the crap aside. And remember at the end of the day, we're all still human beings because you know what? This is getting out of hand and this is scary because right now, the unemployment rate is higher than it was in the Great Depression of the 1920s. And you know what? There have been people who guts I've hated, men who've broken my heart. What's left of it? Is there anything left of it? And I still fed them. Okay? I have fed people I should have poisoned, and I'd do it again. This is the time to put all drama and foo-foo aside, okay? And I believe, Tony, that uh, the Long Island Gay Man's Chorus, and I think he shared the video recently, did a song to that effect, Put a Little Love in Your Heart. Yes. I can also think of another one, Lean On Me. Lean on me if when you're not strong. strong. I'll, I'll be your, your friend. friend. I'll help, I'll help you, carry you carry on. Force. It won't be it long, be long till I'm gonna need a friend to lean on. And so on and so forth. Call on me, brother. 
when you need a friend. We, we all, all need somebody, somebody to lean on. on. I had the solo. I had the solo. I have a problem. I had the solo. <laughs> No, but seriously, this is the time, and you know, go on YouTube, lean on me, put a little love in your heart, go on YouTube, listen to these songs, and try to grasp the meaning. True. And you know things have gotten serious when Alexis Flame has become the voice of reason. And I oop. And I oop. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, we don't have to all make up. We don't have to all be friends. But we, what we do all have to do right now is give a damn. Very true. And you know what? On that note, that's all I have to say, because I need to change my wig. <laughs> change, change your wig? Yes, because this one is too expensive to receive. Gentlemen callers. Oh, gen gentlemen call. Oh, you're gonna have, you're gonna have gentlemen callers now. And uh, ooh, I know. Ooh. Oh, yes, <laughs> it's time to say good night. I, I don't know about so. gentlemen. I don't know about no gentleman callers. I can't wait to get get my get my face off. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Girl, you ain't never lie. But before I ooh, I gotta get off this camera and call my girl. <laughs> you got a you got a few girls to call, I think. You're at the head of the list. Cause after all, you're not just my niece, you're not just my friend. The bitch is actually my boss. She's my producer. Medusa, my producer. So on behalf, I on behalf of Naughty and Nice or Nice, I am the naughty Alexis Flame. And, and the, she is the nice Tony Homper. And we thank you all for tuning in. Thank you. And we say not only naughty night, dance, but good night. Mwah. Good night, everyone. Stay safe. And Crying stay strong and healthy, too. Good stay night. Stay safe. <laughs>